Hello and welcome to your online math course. My name is Mr. Rayum, I'll be your math teacher. And in this little video that I put together here, I'm just going to go through uh, some of the things you need to know to get started in your course and uh, have a successful startup. You might have some questions even after you've gone through and watched the video, so feel free to uh, email me at any time if you have any questions. But let's get started and then we'll go through some of the resources that you have available to you and how you can access your help and your learning resources. So the website that you'll use to access all your resources is www.thssmath.com. And then after you've gone to that website, you'll see one of the tabs here is online math. So clicking on online math will take you to a page that has a few few links here. Um, so there's a couple of online teachers, Mr. Payne and, and then myself, Mr. Radom. Uh, so I'll show you my schedule here. So we'll click on this here. A schedule comes up. I use an online classroom um, site called Collaborate. I'll show you what that looks like uh, in a second. But basically anytime you'd like for me to help you online, just send me an email Jeff underscore Radom at sd42.ca and then we'll set up a time where it both works for us to get help. So basically I'm more or less available 24-7. Send me an email. I might not be able to apply to it, reply to it right away, especially if you send it at 2 in the morning. Um, but uh, yeah, whenever it works out for both of us uh, to log in, I'll give you a hand. Now sometimes you might want to uh, get help face-to-face. I normally work out of Thomas Haney Secondary School in Maple Ridge, uh, and uh, I'm down in the Math Grade Hall, which is a general work area for um, students, uh, high school students. So if you're also a high school student and you can make it to Thomas Haney, then I can help you there. If you're an adult student, I have some face-to-face -face times, um, but um, if you send me an email, I can tell you some of those blocks that I'm uh, able to help you. But if you're a high school student, these are the these are the days and the times. So basically, all day on Tuesday, 8:45 till noon, 12:30 to 2:30. Uh, same thing on Wednesdays, and on Thursdays, 8:45 to 10:50, 12:30 to 1:30. Now these this will this will depend on this is what I'm available this year. Uh, but if you're watching this video, um, make sure you check the schedule because um, it might be different uh, depending on what what year uh, this is that you're watching this video. So that's the schedule. Um, you can email me anytime for online help and then see me in the Great Hall if you want to get face-to-face -face help. So what does that Collaborate Classroom look like? Well, that's right here. So let's say you wanted some help online. You shot me an email. Uh, this is where you would go to get help online. Click on my link, not Mr. Payne's. Uh, it'll ask you uh, if you have the required software. So um, if you've already got that, like I do, whoop, then I'm just going to click start the session. I've got to keep something down here and i got to open this meeting up. And it just takes a second here to load. And this is what the online classroom would would look like. Uh, so there's me uh, in in there, um, but your name would po pop up there too. Uh, down here, there's a chat chat room, so you can type some messages like "I need help with page 56, number three." Boom, shows up here, uh, so that I know that you you need help with that. Uh, there's a talk button here. You can click on this, and now we're talking. You're talking live there. So if you have a, uh, a headset, um, we can we can talk back and forth. Once you're done talking, you need to unclick that because only one person can talk at a time. So we can talk back and forth. Uh, we can use the chat window, and then this whiteboard here is for me to help you with your with your work. So if you're stuck on page 56, I'll be doodling away on the screen here. 
blah, 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 helping you with page 56, number three, and you're also hearing me, hearing me talk. So kind of like being face to face, but um, that's how we can get, get help uh, wherever you are on the planet. Uh, so that's, that's what we can use to, to get help with uh, uh, your math stuff. So this, this link is live all the time. So it wouldn't actually hurt uh, for you to um, go and, and click on this link uh, even after you've done watching this video and just make sure it works. If the link doesn't work for you, then you can click on this one here, configure the collaborate, and this takes you to a support um, a site here. So there's some kind of some FAQs, frequently asked questions, and you can actually contact some tech technical support. Um, and they can they can help you if you're having any any problems with the Blackboard Collaborate. Um, there's another good resource here called Learn Now BC uh, for getting help. There's tutoring and study centers, uh, so there's tutors that can help you online too. Practice quizzes, instructional videos. There's some math learning resources and some homework help links. So you can check those out. Uh, that you may find you may find that. Uh, that useful. So um, yeah, basically I can help you anytime online. Um, this is the way that I would do that. Uh, just send me an email when you want to do that and uh, and then I'll uh, respond to you, get back to you. So you are taking Math 11 Pre-Calc, so I'm going to click here. Or you could just click up here where it says Math 11 Pre-Calc, it'll take you straight there. And these are where all of your um, resources are. Now, some of these links you won't need to worry about. For instance, here, MHS resources, you won't need that uh, link. And these are some suggested learning guide completion dates, but they assume a start in September and a finish in June. Um, so that might not be useful for you, uh, but certainly, the learning guides. These are all of the assignments. So I'm going to click here, and um, this takes us to all of uh, the learning guides, and there are 20 in the course. I'll start by showing you this, uh, the, the record sheet, or if you like, it's the course outline. Okay, so um, here are all the different topics in the course. We start with arithmetic sequence in the series. That's learning guide one. Learning Guide 2, Geometric Sequences and Series. You can see the weighting for each of the learning guides. So uh, you'll go through, and I'll show you this in a sec, but I'll show you what Learning Guide 1 will look like in a second here. You'll go through Learning Guide 1, and then you'll write a little quiz. Learning Guide 2, write a little quiz. Learning Guide 3, write a quiz. And then you see Learning Guide 4 is a unit test on Unit 1. So if your mark, let's just say you got 70 on 1, 72 70 on Learning Guide 2 and 70 on Learning Guide 3. So you, you have 70 for all three of these guides, just say. On the unit test, this is an opportunity to improve your mark on the entire unit. So if you got uh, 85 on Learning Guide 4 on the unit test, then I'd make all of your marks up here uh, 85. If you did worse on the unit test, then I'll just put the mark in for Learning Guide 4. Uh, you can see they're all weighted the same, and then you'll move on. So here's unit two. Uh, this unit test, again, is an opportunity to improve your mark on five, six, seven. It, uh, this unit test will only include information from this unit. And then you can see down here, we've got unit three, radicals, rational expressions and equation and absolute value and reciprocal functions and a unit test. And then 15, 16, 17, and 18, a unit test. Learning guide 19, we will omit. Uh, it's peer tutoring. We're not going to we're not going to do that. So really, I guess there's only 19 learning guides. And learning guide 20 is the uh, course final exam, which you can see has a weight of 20%. Okay, so that's that's the uh, kind of the course outline. Now let's go back and look at learning guide 1. So these are where all your assignments would be. So this is where you would start learning guide 1. This is what a learning guide looks like. So here's the topic. Arithmetic sequence in series. There's a little introduction here. And these are the expectations. So at the end of the learning guide, you should be able to do these four things. Okay. 
Um, so that's important. You might not understand what it means at the beginning of the guide, but you should know by the end uh, what those things uh, mean. There's a little piece on evaluation. It just says look back to that marks record sheet uh, to see what, uh, what, what's going on there. Uh, the resources that you need. Um, in this case, it's just the textbook and the learning guides. I'll talk about the textbook in a second. Um, so here, so here's the learning activities. So for those first two expectations, which were identify and build an arithmetic sequence and find unknown quantities using the arithmetic sequence formula, you can see there's a video that you can watch. I've got a little YouTube video there. Um, and then in the textbook, there's an activity that you can work through in there and a question, a couple of questions to do in the textbook, read some pages, work through some examples. And then you see this icon here, a little notebook with some doodling in it. This is where you'd make your set of notes. So we call it a math journal, um, but it's really it's just your set of notes. And um, so uh, you should keep these maybe in a separate spot because they'll be useful for uh, preparing for the learning guide quizzes and for unit tests and for the final exam. Um, so this would be a, a, a journal entry that you'll enter, your set of notes for um, learning guide one. Now you you may have made some notes already on these things when you watch the video. So if you already have this in your notes, then you know you're good to go. And then here's some quest questions uh, from the textbook uh, that you'd work through. Uh, I'll show you the textbook in a second. So um, what you will do is you'll work through these expectations. You're not going to hand any of these questions in to me. Okay, this is your practice uh, stuff. So I would expect you to know how to do all these questions, but if you're finding this really easy, um, you know, feel free to skip some of the questions if you, you know what you're doing. And um, as you're going along, you should be checking your work in the answer part of the, the text uh, so that you know you're doing it right. Um, and then after you've finished expectation one and two, then you can see here's expectation three and four. There's a video to watch, some things to do in the textbook, some notes to make, and some additional practice questions down here. Okay, so you would work through those, and of course if you get stuck and you, you don't know why your answer is wrong, uh, make sure that you send me an email so that I can give you a hand with what you're stuck on. Um, then at the at the end of the learning guide, we have, we call it a review and challenge. So maybe, like I say, maybe you knew this stuff already. Um, so here's, this won't be comprehensive, but if you could do numbers 1 to 11 uh, right away, then you would know that you knew this uh, material well. If not, here's some, these would be like review questions after you've done the work for the learning guide. There's some key terms that you should know in here. And then there's some online practice quizzes. I'll just show you these. So if I quick say on practice quiz number two, um, you can see this thing brings up a, a practice quiz and some of it's multiple choice. Um, and whoops, and some of it's short answer and some of it is a couple of problems there at the end. And then you can check your work. It says I didn't answer some questions. And then it marks it all for you. So you can see I got number one right, uh, but number two is wrong. The answer should have been C. Same thing down here with these problem questions. There's all the worked out solutions down here for you. Okay, so you might find that useful. Again, you don't have to do those practice quizzes. This is all about being self-directed in this course. So you do um, whatever it is you need to do to learn those expectations. And um, so then once you finish the learning guide, then you would uh, send me an email and I would uh, send you, uh, make arrangements for you to write your quiz for Learning Guide 1. And we can talk about how that would work uh, once uh, you send me the email saying you're ready for your quiz for Learning Guide 1. And then, of course, after you've done your quiz, uh, you would move on to Learning Guide 2. And Learning Guide 2 will be very, very similar. Same kind of a layout. Once it opens up here, and um, come on, there we go. Um, okay, so an introduction. There's the expectations. 
here's the learning activities, a video, some questions to do, a journal, and some more additional work. Okay, so those are all the all the learning guides are there. Um, let's just go back here, show you some of the other resources. So here's your textbook. Oh, sorry, practice quizzes. So you saw at the bottom of the learning guide, there was um, some practice quizzes. If you just want to click on this link, this brings up all of the practice quizzes for the entire course. Now, this is a password protected page. So I'll show you the login. You'll want to make note of this. So anytime you get a password protected page, the login is capital THSS, all capitals, and the password is lowercase math. Okay, so not capitals on that. And that'll take you in. So mine's already saved there. That'll take you into the um, all the practice quizzes. And here they all are by learning guide. Okay, so it looks like there's usually four practice quizzes for, for each of the uh, learning guides, including practice tests uh, for the unit tests. Okay, then the other thing... The other thing that you would need is the uh, textbook. So this is, um, I'm not going to click on here. You can see it's 23 megabytes. So it'll take a little while to, to download, but this would be the entire textbook. Again, it's a password protected um, textbook. And so you would uh, make sure you enter the login and the password. And uh, the entire textbook is there, including the answer keys at the uh, end of the textbook where you can check your work. And then the other thing just to show you here is the formula sheet. So this formula sheet is a formula sheet that you can use on any of your quizzes, your unit tests, or your final exam. And in fact, these first few learning guides that you're working on actually has quite a few formulas uh, in it, and they are on the formula sheet as, as well. Okay, so if you want to use, if you want to print this off, uh, you can use that on uh, any of the quizzes that you uh, do. So they're all the important formulas in the in the course. Okay, so again, just to review, all your learning guides are right there. Uh, you don't hand your work in for me. You do as many or as few questions as you like, uh, as long as you understand uh, the expectations. That's what's important. And when you do, uh, let me know, and we'll arrange to do a quiz, and then you continue working through uh, your learning guides. Um, practice quizzes, resources are there, textbooks there, and formula sheets there. So that should be enough to get you going. And um, I look forward to uh, working with you this year through your Math 11 pre-calculus course.